This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody. See big red letters there? It says, Alex, that's me. The Ramble in White Letters is the name of the program. And we're here until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States doing our little uh, phone-in games here. Okay? Oh, boy. Okay, I'm still trying to get over whatever it is I had. Well, what, it, what we had, we believe, was COVID. And if there's an after effect of trying to get over it, I'm, this is it, boy. This is it. This is not wonderful. So, anyway. But I'll explain it to Phil, because Phil will care when nobody else does. Let me see here. Let me, first, let me bring Phil in here, okay, because Phil is our, is our first guest tonight. Okay, and uh, there he is. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, is, I'm doing just fine. Yeah. Uh, although, you know, in a minute, it's going to be Phil's medical minute. And the reason being is I went to the dentist this morning. Mm-hmm. And uh, it seems I have Why don't you move your camera marks. over a little bit? You're, well, uh, I'm trying to show uh, Dr. Gonzo's famous uh, guitar case. Well, we don't care because nobody knows who Dr. Gonzo is. Oh, uh, well, if they listen to your show in San Francisco. Well, they, they didn't know that much anyway because in the, uh, only for the first couple of years was he ever on. Oh, well. Uh, so why don't you get rid of that background and put yourself in the center? All right, all right. Not that I'm putting down Dr. Gonzo. He's a very funny comic, but nobody knows who he is. I, I just thought it was a very famous uh, guitar case. No. And I wanted to show how luxurious uh, the green room was at the Throckmorton, mm-hmm. uh, which happens to be orange, but I did it in black and white. Mm-hmm. So you see all the pizza boxes. Nobody knows what the Throckmorton is. Well, uh, uh, Mort Saul uh, used to headline there until they, he died. So most people don't know who Mort Saul is. Well, then you should tell them. Let's see, I go to preferences. No, and, no, no, and, forget uh, about that. Forget about uh, that. Okay, you know. well, I'll, I'll give you something. Uh, I, 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 I'll yeah, go well, there there we go. There we go to your standard. There, that's nice. You yeah. see? Yeah. Yeah, that's you good. Know, there's one thing about backgrounds is that you have to take a picture that actually has the things going on mm-hmm. on the left and the right and not in the center. What is that down in the bottom corner over on your uh, on the right-hand side? Or left hand uh, side. Uh, over all that, all there? that stuff. No, down there, down there. See, yeah, right where your hand is. But they see, there's a whole bunch of stuff. What is that? Uh, those are pylons. Oh, those uh, are there, pylons. Was a pier. Are they really? Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, a, I see it now. Okay, I was yeah. wondering what it was. So, uh, yeah, th- those were pylons, yeah. and it happened to be a thing where the it was an eclipse of the moon or something, and that's how I got that shot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the sun. But any, any, anyway, I went to the dentist this morning mm-hmm. at an 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. And um, I get there and my hygienist retired. So there was a new hygienist and uh, she didn't take any crap. She immediately told me that I had too much tartar and this is how you have to clean your you know, teeth. You know what I hate about the people who clean your teeth, the dental yeah. hygienists? They're insulting. Well, I, haven't I, met one, I haven't met one that isn't insulting. Oh, you yeah. know, you got to do something about your tartar. You just got to, you got to floss more often. Well, I, I've got some bone loss, it looks like, on some. I've had uh, bone loss for years, and I still got most of my teeth. Okay. Well, she pulled out something uh, from under the tooth, and I looked at this thing, and I said, gee, that, that is something I ate. At the Rabinowitz Bar Mitzvah in 1968. Well, wait a minute. How long has it been since you had your teeth cleaned? I go three times a year, but she says, that's not enough for you. You have too much tartar. Oh, oh, you know something? 
to begin with, your insurance will only handle two two times two. a year. Two. Yeah. So that's how many you do, and I usually do once a year. Screw. Well, she says my tartar was too much. Yeah. So they're, they're always going to give you that story. I don't uh, care. You know what I've been doing for the last yeah. last six months? I've been brushing my teeth. teeth twice a day and yeah. flossing, and I want to see what she says. Yeah. When well, I finally do go I, to her. That's good. Well, I I use Sensodyne. She says, what kind of toothpaste are you using? I said, Sensodyne. She says, no. Nah. She says, you got to use Crest because there's no grit in the Sensodyne, and you need the grit to get rid of the tar. Oh, great. Yeah, but that'll get rid of your enamel. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, you know, anyway, I mean, they stuck Oh, by the way, I also, I also Listerine two yeah. times a day as yeah. well. well I, I use one of those water picks, and I put the Listerine in the water pick well. Yeah. Uh, so that I, you know, get the... Well, anyway, they put antibiotics under my tooth mm -hmm. because uh, I guess not only did I have the bone loss, but it's infected of uh, some, some way. You, so know, you, know, now, you know what I hate about it? The reason I don't get my teeth yeah. cleaned is the following reason. Yeah. It's the dentist going on a gold mining expedition. Well, you know, they, they mined. They, they got food from under that tube. Yeah, but I'm saying that they now take x-rays, and they're going to see everything that's wrong with your mouth, and they're going to want to do something about it. Oh, well, now they're thinking about sending me to a periodontist oh, and yeah. doing a bone graft. And, uh, do you know how many years I was told they wanted to send me to a periodontist? If, yeah. if, if I had a dollar for every time, I'd be richer than you. Okay? <laughs> really, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. It wasn't yeah. that, you know. So, I mean, it, it, I, it somehow I just, I work, I, the only reason I don't get my teeth cleaned is I'd love to go get my teeth cleaned. Do it, do it twice a year and go do it, right? But I know yeah. what else they're going to do. They're going to come back and say, you need to have this done, you need to have that done, you need to have this done. And about, about $10,000 later, okay. Well, you know, the thing is, my dentist is actually a personal friend. Uh, I mean, we hang out, we do stuff. I mean, he's not he's not out to screw me, but the 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 hygienist, she found everything. And uh, so anyway, he's going to look at me next week because he didn't have enough time to uh, to do what he had to do. And I gave him an area rug this morning. He needed a new area rug for his entrance in his uh, house, and I and I had one custom made, and I gave it to him just because. I gave it to him. Not gonna and, stop you from having to have that periodontia. Yeah, maybe. So uh, it it hurt so much today. I thought somebody sucker punched me in the jaw, and it wasn't until I took an 800 milligram uh, ibuprofen or whatever it is uh, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that I I'm, I'm okay, you know, or at least reasonably okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it it's gonna hurt your teeth, you know. It's not gonna make it feel well, but. Um, Anyway, that's Phil's medical minute. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you? you my you medical, you mean my medical week, my medical yeah. month. Boy, I we we both of us have been feeling not up to par. Okay, it's not that we're sick, mm -hmm. but uh, you know this this uh, you know they many times talk about the cure being worse than the uh, whatever. That, uh, yeah. Well, this stuff we took, this riboflavin, no riboflavin. It was uh, Pax, uh, Pax, uh, Lovid, Pax Lovid, pa yeah, Pax, Pax Lovid, Pax, Pax Lovid. <laughs> it's another Jerry Thank Lewis you. drug. Uh, Pax Lovid, uh, it does the job. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, Monday we took our did our little test and everything, and we were we didn't have COVID any longer. Well, but it did, did what it had to do. But it made us like Marjorie was like, she suddenly turned into an old lady on Monday. I mean, wow. she was like, mm -hmm. and we had to go to the Apple store, and she was talking to the Apple guy, and I'm going, I'm talking. She's an old lady. She's turned into an old lady. Uh, did, you, did you give her a couple of those bags with the Chinese yeah, writing yeah. on the side? But I mean, <laughs> it was it was terrible, and and I was feeling really woozy too. I mean, I had to grab on that, you know. Uh, I mean, I always grab for a hand railing now when I'm going yeah. up and down stairs, but in this case, I really had to hold on like for dear life. And well, and we went home, and I was woozy all day, and she was woozy all day, and the next day we were the same way. Today's the first day we felt a little better. 
but I don't know if I can get through this tonight because I may be too tired after doing a half hour. You know, well, do, do you, do you, had you heard that Fauci got COVID and yeah. then he got reinfected after uh, the first run of COVID and he took the, uh, 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 what, what's the drug you took? Paxlovid. Uh, Paxlovid. Now, I heard uh, some commentator say that if you have been vaccinated, you shouldn't take the Paxlovid uh, because uh, many of the people that have, mm -hmm. have gotten reinfected. Well, that, to begin with, uh, that guy is wrong. Okay, and I'm, you got right you got guy. you got to stop watching Fox. Okay, um, uh, the fact is they dra drag out any any uh, uh, doctor they can to make their case. Here's the thing: yes, one to two percent of people who take Paxlovid after taking it get a reoccurrence. It's not a bad reoccurrence. It's a very low level reoccurrence, yeah. but they become um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, COVID positive. All right. Uh -huh. Uh, but it's only for a couple of days, and then you're back to normal, and you're okay with it. That's one to two percent, okay? Yeah. And it and they found out that they did it with a uh, placebo group, and they did it with a Paxlovid group, okay? Placebo, non-placebo, and the result of that one to two percent was the same with both groups. What happened with the people that took Redesivir or uh, hydrochloroquine? Well, hydrochloroquine you don't take okay <laughs> that's that's for horses okay well uh, so, so was quaaludes <laughs> uh, 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 you know I mean uh, that was horse uh, horse stuff and so far as red rendisivir is concerned I think this is supposed to be better than rendisivir rendisivir is one answer for this there's one other drug too that you can take but it's only 30 percent effective this is 90 percent effective Wow okay uh, and I just didn't want to take the chance, okay? I didn't want to take the chance of getting coming down with it strong. And then if it was like five days after I got my first symptoms that I wanted this, it'd be too late. Yeah. So I just wanted to do it and, you know, but I'm telling you that some of the side effects, at least where Marjorie's concerned and some of where I was concerned, I'm still kind of lightheaded and, uh, you know, sometimes feel like I'm going to pass out because it, it, it was a very strong drug. But, you know, I'm, uh, I'm okay. It's just that I, I don't know if I can do two, an hour and a half tonight, you know. And yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe this we'll is, see. Uh, is, an, is an hour show, you know, yeah. or you do 15 minutes with me and start bringing them in. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, uh, uh, but uh, you know, so, I mean, it, 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 it has not been a pleasant situation. And what, we, what I might be feeling is just the, the after effects of COVID itself. You know, that's, which that's, people, that's very true. people talk about that it's not it's not an easy uh, thing to come out of. But we didn't. I didn't have it strong. I never got it full bore. But then I started taking these pills before I ever got that way. Yeah. Marjorie was a little worse than I was because she was a couple of days in advance of me. But you would think that if she started taking it almost at the five day yeah. uh, thing, that she was over. Uh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Bless you. Well, go uh, ahead. She yeah. was over the COVID uh, by five days. Uh, you know, some no, people not were... necessarily. Not necessarily. No. It can go on for weeks at a time. I mean, you know, but well, the fact... long COVID and short COVID, right? Well, I don't know what there is. I don't think they know what there is. Okay, to be very honest with you, I've gotten to the point where after this current situation that I had with COVID. Uh, I decided that uh, maybe I, I'm just not, uh, uh, you know, that it was ridiculous. You know, there's no answer to any of this. Are you going to see if you have natural antibodies? Isn't there uh, originally? That, that has, that has, they don't even talk about that anymore. Yeah, because well, you, can, you can get COVID. Okay, forget about the, the uh, Paxlovid. You can get mm -hmm. COVID. You can get uh, over COVID. And then two weeks later, you can get it again. Okay, so obviously there is no uh, natural it, immunity. That might be these strains that are going around now. Are there actually names for these uh, uh, current strains? Who knows? You know, you I know, mean, like you know, we had uh, Omicron and we yeah. had uh, Nomicron and all of those other things. I'm just wondering if they name these things. 
because I am noticing, I'm starting to wear a mask in the store again because every time people walk in, they're sniffling. Uh, or, they, or you know, you can tell it's like they, they've got Well, a, it a is allergy over. season right now where you live. Yeah. Okay, so, you know. And, that, that uh, could have and, something you know, to do I, I had a little sniffle today, but the ibuprofen helped. I have a Maybe little it, cough, a little ch- chest congestion, slight... Uh, and I think it's an aftermath of whatever I whatever I had, yeah. you know. So, but well, anyway, you know, I mean, I wish I could say I feel a hundred percent, but I don't. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm I, I, you I, look I, good. You I have, wrote you and said I might not do a show tonight. I don't I know. know. I'll have to see how I feel prior to doing it. And uh, then I, I know. Just, well, you you look okay. I mean, you don't look peaked or uh, you even have color. It could be the camera, but. <laughs> You do well. I can always, I can always do something about that color. Wait a minute. Hold oh, yeah. on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. See, here's the thing. I got the, the orange light on me, but if I turn on the white light, see how that changes? Yeah, you've been dead for two weeks. Here we go. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, dead again. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, even, I, I, that's I, even I, on the blue side there. Yeah. I've got this thing, but I haven't hooked it up. Um, what? It's the same thing you've got, except the small one. Yeah, that, uh, that small one is useless. Well, it's just to turn the lights on and off, and to yeah. and to and to you know and to deal with them. Yeah, but, but that, uh, that that one's useless. The one I've got, which is not the big one, no, uh, is got per- like the twenty perfect. or it's got fifteen on one. 15, yeah. uh, you know, you can make many separate ones out of that. But anyway, you know. Well, uh, you know. I, I wanted. Had you heard? Because the news is always skewed. Have you heard about Biden's daughter accusing him of inappropriate behavior when she was a youngster, and that's what's caused her to have a sex addiction? Well, I'll tell you, Phil. No, but then again, I don't travel in the same cr- uh, crowd you travel in. Well, you somebody know. somebody found her diary, and glean this information from it while she was at rehab recently and uh so she's been a sex a sex addict actually she's a sex addict and a drug addict you don't happen to have her phone number do you (laughs) well it wouldn't help with you know i it look you know let's say it's true let's say it's true how proper is it for them for anybody to make that Noted, no, uh, known, known publicly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, is, you is have... that right to do to her? To to her? No. Yeah. Right. So, no. and and who are you doing it to? You're doing it to her. You're not doing it to Joe Biden. Yeah. You know. Although you know she has not. All, all been I'm saying in the is whoever eye. whoever did it is doing so in bad taste, and and should be uh, should be beaten with a stick. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Now. Yeah. I, talking about beating somebody with a stick. Now, when Trump tried to grab his driver and redirect him to the uh, to the January 6th Capitol mm-hmm. so that he can get in and riot with the rest of them, uh, I see a picture of the car. Mm-hmm. I sent it to you, what mm-hmm. the beast looks like. And it's impossible well, for him to that's grab a picture. the That's arm. a picture that's been put up by a bunch of Republicans who may have doctored that picture. Okay, well, first yeah. of all, first of all. But secondly... Yeah. And I was going to say to you, she never said that happened. She said it was somebody told her, one of the people in the car right. told her that story. Right. And she Hearsay. prefaced it by saying that she heard it from somebody. It wasn't right. her firsthand uh, uh, experience. A lot, most of the other stuff she talked about was her own firsthand experience. Yes. Well, did you see any of the reposted tweets of the uh, Secret Service agents that said that... That has did, nothing uh, to do with it, Phil. I'm telling you now that they are saying, well, they didn't deny that he wasn't being nasty, okay, in any of those tweets. All they said was he never grabbed for the door thing, the wheel. he never choked the guy. Okay, fine. But she didn't say that. She said she had heard that yeah. that was so from one of the Secret Service agents, Okay. Now, uh, I, I don't know, you know, I mean, but she, she, she prefaced it by that. She didn't, she didn't say it was firsthand. She said it was her hearsay. How can they allow that to be said? They can, because it's not a court of law. Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's a show. I no, guess. it's not a show. It's not. A, it's not a Kangaroo court of law, court. though. And now it is up to uh, the Justice Department to look at this material and see what is true and what's not true. But she never said that she knew it to be true. She said she heard that blah blah so, blah. So this this January sixth committee is innuendo. Uh, no, uh, no, not at all. Yeah, not at well, all. You know, and if the Republicans wanted to get their two cents worth in, they should have put somebody on that committee, but they refused they to put tried. it. No, they didn't. They refused yeah, they, to put they it. Wanted in, to put they the, refused to put anybody on the committee, and the two Republicans who decided to go on the committee have been vilified completely by the Republican Party and don't say and they haven't been. Do you know that not one person on that committee didn't, uh, everyone on that committee voted to impeach Trump? So, Every one of them, so, including the two Republicans. So, they, they, listen, the Republicans were invited to put people on that on, the, on that committee, and they refused to. And the two that did were considered, you know, not... Rhinos. Rhinos, yeah. And uh, I don't think they're going to have much of a career uh, after this. I, well, I we don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because last, Cheney, last night they had uh, a lot of primaries in which people who were not not Trump Republicans, who yeah. f felt that it was a legitimate uh, 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 election and so on and so forth, got nominated to run on their party's banner, as opposed yeah. to the person who was saying, running around saying, oh, it was a fixed and rigged election and so on. So it, it wasn't a good night for those naysayers. Okay. Yeah, but I got the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Save uh, save Trump from America again. <laughs> save America again. Save Matter of fact, save this, Trump from America again. This was sent to me by Tony, hmm. uh, and yeah, I, I get up in the morning. There's a three hour time difference between New York and and San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, by then, there's already about ten uh, voicemail messages from Tony saying uh, how unhappy he is and that mayonnaise is seven bucks and. Uh, you know that he's glad that I outed him, and uh, so mm -hmm. I, I said, "Are you, are you going to vote for Trump?" And he says, "Well, I'm not going to vote for the Democrat." <laughs> and so, I so we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe one the, of your got, listeners. You got you got two years to go, two and a half years to go, and you don't know yet yeah. whether he's even going to run again. I I seriously doubt he's going to run. Well, they, they say he's making he's making plans already. And I think he'd be doing the Democratic Party a great disservice by doing it. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I told him, I said, you know, if he does run, uh, or uh, I don't think he'll get into the fray until maybe the last six months, because he'll let all the other Republicans beat one another up yeah. before he gets in and then just tackles the last couple that are still standing. Yeah, yeah, but um, uh, you know, I, uh, I, you know, I, I, I think Tony's being an idiot about this. I think that to begin with, uh, to begin with, my, my argument is here is I can't blame him for the raise in you know the the cost of living, and I can't, I can't fault him for the uh, gas prices. He caused none of this. All right, but, but what I can hold against him is that he has been has had the inability to do anything about it okay well, and that's that's why he's being a bad president you know the right wing media is saying that it's the uh, lack uh, it's the um, amount of regulations that he's reinstated that the reason the economy was doing so well under Trump was that he eliminated a lot of these reg onerous regulations that uh, were difficult on business, that were difficult on the oil industry. He's, uh, and they're saying that Biden has done everything in his power to make it difficult for the oil well, industry. Well, uh, okay, to begin with, he's done very little. Uh, that, that's just one example of, of something, you know. I mean, I think you're being ridiculous about it. Well, I can only okay. give you one example at a time. Well, yeah, but that's not, a, that's not an example. I mean, he hasn't done much to inhibit the oil and gas companies. I think what yeah. you really should do is slam the hammer down on them for profiteering 
uh, off of off of this uh, what appears to be a uh, a lack of of, of uh, oil. I don't think I I think oil's gone up because the oil companies have simply raised the prices on oil, and they should be whiplashed. Now, do you, you know these uh, the oil prices are up uh, around the world now. Some of them aren't anywhere near as high as the United States right oh, now. Oh, you go to but, you go try going to England and, and Germany and places like that where oh, it's always been by the leader. It's no but it's always been higher than here. It's always been high, yes. yes. Uh so. it's just that uh it isn't that much higher than it was. I uh, think well, it is I actually think, I, I think it's higher I, yeah, than it was. I think you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't think that these prices have been reflected worldwide? Oh yeah. Except yeah it's vodka? happening all over the world. Yeah, it's happening all over the world, except maybe to the companies who were uh, countries who were willing to buy their gas from Russia. Yeah, you know they maybe don't see that much of a, a rise in price. Yeah, now they're trying to limit the price that Russia can sell their oil for. Uh, fat chance, I guess. I imagine. You know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it, it, it. All I'm saying is, is that that. that uh, uh, I think that to to blame the Democrats on any, for any of this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, you know, and I don't know that if Trump were president now, if he'd be able to do anything about this uh, economy. You know, because to begin with, to begin with, he well, yeah, well, like we do, we need to export it. We need to keep it here and sell it cheap. Well, but if you can export it, then the uh, the yeah. demand yeah. for oh, yeah. Russian oil would be curtailed. Because oh yeah, but do you think us. do you think that if if Trump were around, he would have curtailed the use of Russian oil, or do you think he would have done nothing, like no kinds of of action against Putin for the war in Ukraine? I I, I wonder if Putin would have attacked Ukraine if Trump oh, was around. Oh, he certainly would have. He would have seen more of a reason to do it because he had a pal who would let him get away with it. Well, you know, he felt threatened uh, and uh, by NATO, and Trump was keeping uh, things at bay and uh, keeping uh, Putin in a position where he didn't feel threatened and need to attack. Uh, the same thing with Kim Jong Un, uh, you know, he stopped sending missiles and and blowing up atomic bombs, uh, you know, under uh, you know underground tests. Uh, well, he was while, he was continuing to do the underground tests, Bill. Absolutely, no, he, he had stopped. No, them he didn't stop the underground tests at the tests. point that Trump had him visit another country and go to Disneyland. Sorry, but uh, the underground tests weren't stopped under him. No, well, I thought they did. No. And I know that he wasn't launching missiles into the. He wasn't uh, launching missiles, but he was camp. he was testing bombs underground. Yeah. Well, he uh, he did. Well, anyway, but, uh, it, it, the point I'm making is I think that uh, 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 Trump just wouldn't have gone after Putin. He wouldn't have gone after his oil if he suddenly attacked the Ukraine. He wouldn't have gone. Let's stop buying. You know, let's do sanctions against Russia. You you do you think Trump would do sanctions against Russia? Oh yeah, he had big sanctions. Oh, against like Russia. what? Like what, Phil? Uh, well, uh, well, there were there were sanctions against Russia. Uh, Trump said that he put more sanctions on Russia. No, he than, didn't. No, he didn't. Else. Do you believe what I'll, he I'll says? Look, I'll look it up. I did. Uh, you can. I did print out. This is uh, all the uh, Trump administration accomplishments, and uh, uh, year by year, and. Uh, they, they talk about the unprecedented uh, economic boom and oh yeah like oh that. yeah I felt that unprecedented economic yes. boom didn't you well, huh? yes I did yes oh uh, really now I have a question wow. just before we bring in everybody mm -hmm. you know Tucker Carlson you right know Tucker Carlson I I did his show every week yeah. right yeah. Did, did you meet him in person no never he was over right. in he was over in New Jersey. They had studios in New Jersey and he was working out of New Jersey. Okay, so. well the topic of discussion tonight was Faye said, Is he wearing a hairpiece? And so I figured maybe uh, uh I don't you know. would I, I, I haven't seen a picture of him lately, so I don't know. Yeah. Well the hair is the same. It hasn't no, changed. No, he was he was in New Jersey. I was in a little robot studio in uh, New York City. Uh, in this office where they had a camera. I put me with a background in this camera 
and then uh, I just I saw him. I mean, through yeah. the the monitors and so on. Well, you know, Faye said there's no hairline, and I said, well, look at look at his sideburns. His sideburns are kind of gray, and uh, the hair is not. And so I, you know, I'm I just know. wondering. I'd, ha I'd have to look at a picture of him. Yeah. yeah. Well, th this is this Forget is the that. challenge. Tucker Carlson, do you have a hair piece or not? Okay, but let's uh, let's bring in some of these other people here. Hold on a okay. second. Admit all. Here comes Charlie Wallace and Bathtub Brian, and then the other Brian, Brian Neary, and uh, 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 hello, Bathtub Brian. How are you? Connect your audio. Yeah, he's connected his audio. Brian Neary's on the floor again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, you're. Are you in the bathtub again? Uh, always, and if Phil can wear a uh, Trump shirt after that Cassidy Hutchinson thing, uh, I reserve the right to stand up and turn around. Hey, she <laughs> was pretty hot, though. Hey, if you turn around and stand up, we're just going to see a picture of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, my bad. Yeah. I, I changed my name, Alex. <laughs> oh, Brian. <laughs> there we go. You, you my it. Zoom... You wanted Dr. Allen off, and I took it off. Look, okay, Allen W. Yes. Is that because your last name is W? Yes. What is it? I don't. I, we've never said it here. Ween. W e i n. You want me to Ween? change it to that? No. Yeah, no. no. It's, it, it used to be wine. Er. Uh, <laughs> that's Phil. <laughs> Phil goes by everybody knew him as the whiner and misinformation person. Oh. Anyway, uh, by the way, you guys were talking about the variants, and if you can get them again and again, which you can. The newest variants, rather you or Phil ask, is called BA4 and BA5. Bye. <laughs> yeah. that, that's not very sexy. I liked Omicron. Well, these are spinoffs of Omicron. Well, I don't know what I've got. You know, I, I, I just think we, you know. We're, I think the, the I think so. The, was it Phil that said two or three percent of people that take uh, uh, whatever it's called? That was Alex. One yeah. to two, one to two percent is what. Oh, yeah, is, right. It, it, yeah, it, they're, they're, the CDC just put out a message today or yesterday saying it's around one percent. Yeah. So that's, and that's much higher people people that have been unvaccinated. Well, well, they they said that the it, uh, uh, whatever the drug is. Uh, didn't work as well on people that were vaccinated. At least that's what I had heard. Uh, uh, that's not what. That's what. Not not what my doctor has heard. No, that's that's yeah, not that's what not. Marjorie's doctors have heard. I mean, she talked yeah. to a doctor the other day who said he's everybody's talked to says yes, they've had after effects and things like that. But yeah, but so get the medical news but, from Trump. But it's it it's very effective. It's very effective. Yep. It's especially effective for people these morons. Who never got vaccinated in the first place? It probably will save the lives of those people too, which, yep. uh, quite frankly, if they didn't get the vaccinated, they deserve to die. Okay, it's a game changer, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it came yeah. along very quick. What one of the? It's a two drug combination. Yeah, and one of the two drugs is an HIV drug, a protease inhibitor, and the other drug is an antiviral, if I understand it right. Yeah, well, actually, the three pills in there but i only took two of them because okay. uh if you take the third Does one it can age? affect no it can affect your your uh kidneys and if you oh. have mild kidney dysfunction which i have okay. uh i shouldn't take that third pill that, so that, was, that was a smart move on your doctor oh yeah and now. he did the same thing with marjorie because you know she we're just both Good. older and you know the kidneys not may not be a hundred percent so you know so Absolutely. Uh, but but, uh, but I, I just felt so weak the last couple of days, and I feel pretty weak now, although I'm not as weak now once I've gotten going here. And I know I don't sound weak. Uh, I love Bill's dental stories. He says this dentist is his personal friend and will always take care of him. But yet the hygienist he hired wants to screw him over, according to this show. Yeah. So wow. what, what kind of a friend is that? Yeah, okay. really. Dr. Phil. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Jeff. Hello to Jeff. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Brian, I have you, uh, it doesn't look like you're shampooing, though, in there. <coughs> yeah, I just got done oh. shaving. Huh? Uh, I just got done shaving. I wish, I wish I 
I held off actually to be honest with you so I could do it all in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I asked you this once. Do you have a mirror in the bathtub or do you just do it by feel? Ah, okay. Uh, I did it by feel for the longest time. We got one of these uh one of these uh, shower mirrors and it works great. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's just terrific. And well, you know what I also got? This will show you I'm getting to be an old man. Uh we got a handle for the bathtub. So you don't uh, slip? Yeah. And oh, it's yeah. uh it's a suction thing and there's no way that's things coming off. You know, yeah. and you just you just and you think that's great, wait till you get a seat. What what'd you say? I said if you think that's great, wait till you get a seat, then you know you're really upgrading. No, I don't want a seat. Okay. <laughs> pa Patrick has a seat. <laughs> no, but it, it I have a tub that has always been difficult to get in and out of because there's kind of a a, mm -hmm. a drop down. And so this handle has just made all the difference in the world. You Can know. I make a suggestion on your handle that you get your super to install a permanent one. Those suction things tend to fail at the wrong time. I've played with them before. This so. thing, there's no way this is going to fail. I'm, okay, I'm telling you right now. I have pulled on that thing. I have tugged on that thing. I cannot undo well, it. What brand is it? I want one then. Well, it's one I got at CVS and it, it has a it has two levers on it. You do the lever thing and yeah, it really just does yeah. a very heavy suction. Alex, you, yeah. you haven't fallen on the thing yet and that's, that's right. yeah, that's the concern. Right. Fallen, fa fallen on the handle itself, you mean? No, fallen and grab the handle fallen at the and same time. It. Oh. Yeah, you know, putting all your weight on it as you're... Now, why don't you, like, try and hang from it with I, your... I've tried to there. do that. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. Good. Jeff yeah. seems to be agreeing with me. Probably another old person who has a handle in his bathtub. Uh -huh. See? I am... Mountain. I am get buying a new one. Uh, and I will give you an update yeah. on my experiences. I Another would, suction one or a mounted one? Actually, I'm rechanging that whole part of the that, that place of the room. So uh -huh. it's called the bathroom. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but a, making it ADA uh, ex, uh, uh, approved. Brian, yeah, I'll be part of it. Brian Neary, how you oh, doing? Uh, I'd like to say a story bad enough. I'll get interrupted from Phil and Alan, but. So we have hey, COVID. Let's in. interrupt Ryan. No, Ryan. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say, Brian? We, yeah, we have. Uh, so Tiffany got sick um, oh. Sunday night. She started feeling sick. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, please. Adrian, go. Not now. Thank and you're worried about me. So. Uh, <laughs> bad, dog. bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Dog. Those are my dance moves. Don't take my He's dance moves. Dancing. What do you What do you think you're What do you think you're Watching those TikTok. What are you? Yeah, she rehearsing for TikTok? Is that what's happening? No, you know she got banned one time. She has another account on my other email, and now it says account warning because they've already pulled like three of her videos off of there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So so um. <laughs> yes, she started feeling sick. She had a cough, and then uh, she got a little worse on Monday morning. She mm -hmm. drove back. She drove to work. Uh, we uh, she took an antigen test because she could feel something was going on, and so she has COVID. Oh. So yeah. So um, the good thing is because of certain circumstances, I've been in Lodi overnight, and then uh, so we and a couple other things going on. So uh, we haven't been in the same bed together at night. So that's sort of been good because none of us have covid so we have a big trip planned for the fourth of july week down to la disneyland and um, california adventure park and all that stuff so so we have isolated her and locked her in her bedroom so she cannot infect any of us you know so that, that, I, found, I found that that was the terrible th terrible thing about getting because i i marjorie got it she tested positive i didn't so yeah. all of a sudden i'm wearing a mask around the house you know, I'm washing my hands and doing all that stuff, yeah, yeah. and and I can't sleep in the same bed with her. I can't even watch television with her. Adrian Brian, loves it. Tiffany. Adrian loves it. Don't interrupt. Adrian loves it because her and I have a big tent in her room with the, I put some clamps on the the bunk beds and everything. Yeah. So we have a we have a, a 
day every day together night Ryan. But, so the bad thing is though because there's close contact there so i had to report that to work and so now i'm out for five days so basically come back so i'm i'm off all week so i've been swimming outside and and just <laughs> relaxing doing some work from home did you get the course of pills for tiffany like nope. alex took nope. no nope. no uh, so why yeah Be because we want her just to go through this she just has a cough and no fever so she just has a bad cough and a sore throat oh, okay so yeah so so then uh so we've been testing i've been testing again and she took a pcr test because they i think the company is going through this phase again so they want everybody to do a, a pcr test just to make sure they have it and they're not trying to take time mm -hmm. off which would be mm -hmm. stupid for her but um so we just did that today and she's negative of course so she still has the cough she's been doing thermal flu and Theraflu, and it's been helping her a lot. So like the, today she took it all day and last night at night, and she's feeling uh, a lot better. She's not coughing as much as she was before, so. Yeah. But she actually had a positive test. Yes, yes, positive antigen and then positive. See, Sunday night it was like really faint, but even if it's faint, you have it. And then she took one Monday morning uh, and they took her, they told her to get, you well, know, we, go we right took one. We took one on uh, Monday. And uh, I, we took it, and Marjorie, it was slightly faint. So I gave her an, a second test, and it came out not faint. It mm. just came out clear, you know, negative. And I took it, and I was okay. First it looked a little faint, but then it wasn't. But then I did it, I took another version of the test, uh, just to make sure, and I, I came up uh, negative as well. So I assume she's negative now. I think that was just kind of like a slightly false test or something like that. But we did it immediately afterwards and she came up fine. So yes. Yeah, we, we've been avoiding her. She's been in the room. She keeps coming out like, oh, I'm gonna cook for you guys. And I said, no, you're not. You're going back in the room. If you get one of us infected, that goes our whole weekend because we're not gonna be able to recover in two, three days. So. Yeah, right, Alan uh, got his hand. Yes, so I, know. I want you to know, Brian, that I didn't interrupt you once. Bill interrupted you five times. Yeah, thank it you. was on purpose. The Come second on. thing, it's always on purpose. The second thing is, is the FDA put out a advisory saying people under age fifty years old that don't have high risk, probably if they're vaccinated and boosted, don't need the pill. And I wouldn't want the pill because of what Alex has gone through. Because I thought if she takes this pill. It's going to be worse for her, and then it's going to risk our week. So she has a whole week to get to get well. The Theraflu is helping out, out tremendous. So we're just going to write uh, are, it out. Are you sure they're saying they're saying, Alan, that if you uh, if you are under fifty and you uh, and you don't have any serious comorbidities, asthma, cancer, yeah, then you don't need the other. You shouldn't try. You yet. don't need the pill. That'd if be you're vaccinated and boosted. At my age, I should take it. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and same Absolutely. thing for Marjorie. Yeah. Yep. Hello, 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 Tony. How, how are you, you little rat? <laughs> That's why I didn't, I didn't tell Tony what was going on in my family because I know the story would totally get around and something totally different. So, yeah. didn't you used to tell me you hated Trump? I did. Yeah. But well, I mean, so what's changed? Man up, that. Tony. So you love Trump now? Is that what it is? I'm, you know what it is? I I can't. I can't take Biden. I do so many things. I well, neither can I. Neither like, can I. Example. Neither can like, Brian. Uh, neither. Hey, you know. I told Tony he had a man up. You know. I watched that, the Terminator that, that crawl into his shell. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I watched Obi Wan Kenobi season episode one. Yeah. Uh, you know what it is, Alex? Like the first thing is that. It's well, like first of all, first of all, let's people. establish first of all that you're a moron. Now, go on. Yeah, you can get there right off the top, but that's okay. <laughs> But you know what it is? It's like, like the perfect example. Like he's not doing anything. Well, now that I can agree with you on. Oh. I can agree I mean, with you on that. And you know what scares me? But I know that's not the fault of the scared. Democrats. That's the fault and of I'm Joe just, Biden. Yeah, I, I give you that. You know, and, and more than that, I'm saying to myself, you know, <clears> like he was. I had nothing about. I don't really don't care if he buys back the kids' loans, right? Like <laughs> he just passed it. But what about the kids from three or four years ago who paid all their loans off? They get stuck. It's like he's just buying votes now, it looks like. It's tacky. By, by the way, uh, yes, Charlie. I mean, that's a ridiculous argument. 
How is that ridiculous, Charlie? That's if ridiculous I, if I pay, because- well, let, me, let me speak, let me speak, then you can talk. Well, let me tell you how it's ridiculous. You ask well, me why that? is it ridiculous if four years ago a kid paid off his loans and now these kids are getting it free and clear? How is that ridiculous? It's ridiculous because people, you can't, just because somebody else suffered in the past doesn't mean people have to suffer now. Charlie, it's not fair. People, Charlie. people, people, people both. Phil, I mean, uh, uh, I Tony. I had my gallbladder surgery. I had a seven inch incision and I had to take six weeks off of work. You think that's fair when people can do it over the weekend now? Charlie, that's two different things, Charlie. No, that's not, called, that, that's that called, Charlie, you can't, Charlie, if somebody paid their bills two years ago. Able. Charlie, you know it's bullshit, Charlie. I don't want to hear this. That's, 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 that's total bullshit. Having surgery, having surgery. Phil, wait, 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 Tony, Tony, Tony. Here's where you're being a moron about this. No, okay, women. I'm going to tell you. What? So, so they should just keep charging people for their student loans? Well, isn't it nice that they finally forgave them and people Alex, don't have to pay these things off for of the it's rest not of their fair lives? To the kids who had to pay well, what do you mean it's not fair to the kids ago. who had to? It's not fair to the people who got arrested for smoking marijuana back in the fifties that they got arrested for well, smoking marijuana, and is, today you can smoke it walking down yeah, the street. Exactly. My Tony, opinion, I, I Tony, think it's wrong though. Tony, I see on your magazine, I see on your magazine, it says 25 cents on the top. Why are you charging me 300? That's totally not fair. <laughs> no, that's exactly the same. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, Charlie, but I think he's just buying votes. And I don't think as a country we can afford oh, to Trump pull back everybody's student loans. Gave millionaires that huge tax cut. Yes. <laughs> but the kids who have $20,000 and billionaires are not millionaires. And Phil. From two years ago. So they're not in that tax bracket that you're talking about. I just, yeah. you know, I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, I'm happy that they finally started forgiving these student loans because they've been a, a noose around the neck of a lot of students. And the fact is, the fact that they got that education has only benefited this country. Well, it's maybe, been, maybe, will you let me finish, maybe, Phil? Maybe to you. Please, let me finish and then you can raise your hand and I'll uh, I recognize you, okay? okay. Uh, I only mean, one hand. the fact is that, uh, that these people who have, have, had their student loans and went to school and and got a, a degree were making more money paying more taxes uh were giving into this country were uh, 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 contributing to the well-being of this country because of that education so you know the fact that now we say okay we're going to forgive that we're going to forgive those student loans i think is a wonderful thing you know marjorie paid hers off and the other day said isn't it wonderful they're going to pay them off now Yes, in 30 Phil. years, Phil. Tony, when there's a younger doctor doing surgery on you to keep you alive, ask him if he got his loan paid off. By the way, if he gets Phil. his loan paid off, he can start his own practice and start helping people instead of sitting there working for somebody trying to get his loan paid off. Uh, Phil, 30 years, just okay. remember me. Okay? Let's, let's go to but Phil. Let's go to Phil. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on uh, a second. Th Phil's had his hand up. I don't have a problem with it, but we, he's shut up, Tony. Tony. <laughs> uh, hey, look. I think that these student loans are BS, and I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an education has gotten so out of hand, these universities are charging a quarter of a million dollars for a kid to go to school. Where I, you know, when I went to school, uh, it, it was a hundred bucks a quarter, and uh, you know now, you know there. They charged you to go to kindergarten. School? Well, actually, he <laughs> junior he, college. That's what he was paying for romper room. No, but yeah. the, this is the problem: is that these universities are getting so fat. These uh, bonuses and the their administration and all the money they're spending on these people, uh, and you know, the. This is why these kids are going into debt. An, an, an education shouldn't cost a, a quarter of a million or a half a million dollars. Uh, Can I ask you a question, Phil? Why? What happens, and I, so I throw this to the people, what about the kids who can't afford a car to drive to that job? Should Biden give them a free car loan? No, they just hitchhike. Why not? They could use that car to get a better job. Well, yeah, you know that's that's uh, you, Tony's right. You know, Why not? you know what should they do? They, you're you making know, Tony, Tony, you're, you're asking stupid questions. No, you it, really it, are. I'm answering a hypothetical question like they're posing. The only person. Let me tell you why, because I talk to a lot of my nephew's friends, and they will not vote for the Democratic Party because they paid off their loans two years ago, 
and they feel like they got sideswiped, well, and they feel he's buying uh, votes. Uh, uh, and that's the younger generation. So we can, uh, you know, I'm I'm glad that they paid off their loans, uh, and yeah. I'm glad they're that still paying because, some of it off from years ago. They're just acting stupid, you know. Oh well, I didn't get to pay. I so I think. And most people who can't afford college go for free anyway. Oh, really? No, they don't go to Nobody USC. They, they don't go to, York, don't go to could, Berkeley. It's called TAP, and they get money back. No, they so look it up. Phil, I mean, Tony, believe me, if you want to My deep, sister got you, TAP, if, Alex, if, for if, City College. My mother got oh, money. Oh, great. City College. But she still great had school. Yeah. Great school. Well, I mean, she York, went, she City went College in New York. But she had to pay half. City College in New York is an excellent school. No, she went to Hunter College, but she paid it. She had to pay a certain amount, my mom, but she also had to. They gave her a little bit of a, a discount. I had a headache last night, and it went away finally later <laughs> in the day today. Now it's coming back. I'm Can I back. ask Charlie a question? Ask, Charlie, what has what what Joe Biden done like good for the last two years? I give you the floor. We you agree with you. Me? I need to go well, get my tooth. He, he handled COVID a lot better. No, no. Trump Give did. Trump credit for COVID because it was warp speed. That The vaccine was here no. before he got in office. No. No. Yeah. no. Trump no. didn't have anything. Trump didn't in have December, anything they announced it. Science, no, so. wrong. No, Trump, Trump handled it so badly that we have like 600,000 dead Americans we didn't we, need to have. That we wouldn't we have had a vaccine no. if it wasn't years. for Trump. You Alex, can't force I want you to know I didn't send Tony any coffee. No, let me okay, ask you, the first, oh, Alan, can we force the them to take the vaccine? Done, we couldn't do that in New York. They weren't taking it. It would have been 10 years before you had a vaccine if it wasn't for Trump. Oh, shit. Pfizer didn't use warp speed, and they had the... They but had it the did vaccine. accelerate Absolutely. the progress. Like, you, you can't so take wrong, that. Even Biden did. The so first wrong. vaccine wasn't done by... By the by way, Pfizer speed. didn't even use government money. No, but, didn't, but even Joe yeah. Biden... Well, shut up a second, Trump Tony. Shut they, up. They please. approved it, though. Wait a minute. No, no. Trump got it approved faster... Uh, as a, an experimental, uh, and then he didn't want to use it. And then he's telling people not to get the vaccine. No, that was that was uh, your your vice president that told him that. They said, "Oh, I'm oh, not going to take the vaccine if Trump was the one that did it." That that was Kamala. Kamala worked for Trump. I don't remember that. Oh, she was no, the one that said she wasn't going to trust the vaccine. Hold on a second. No, she said she wasn't going to trust Trump on the vaccine. Time out, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. If you notice. Bathtub Brian has a hand up. At least it's his the logo for the hand up. You have something to say, Brian? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we've got back on vaccines. I was just saying, <clears throat> I think the banks should be forced to appraise an education like they have to appraise a house. You don't buy a a, a two hundred thousand dollar house with a four hundred thousand dollar loan. And I think that might you know I'm, i think that might help suppress these uh because phil's right these these education houses are are, are just out of freaking control oh yeah but you know that's not even on topic anymore so well, anyway yeah, sorry Good. okay you can remove your hand now okay goodbye <laughs> no you don't have to go away hold on i gotta figure it out don't, don't so, yeah um hello ray how you doing ray's driving down the street Ray has potato chips. Oh, I'm doing. I'm here. doing good. I'm just uh, enjoying the argument. Mm -hmm. It's not an argument. Here's a question. <laughs> well, it wasn't when it started. You know, when I went to when I went to Cal, uh, you know, like Phil, it cost me like 160 bucks a quarter or something like that. And then, um, you know, that was a public institution. And then for some reason, the state of California made it mostly a private institution, and the prices went out over out of the roof. Phil uh, never went to college, not like Cal. I, I have been to oh, okay. a freshman at nine different junior colleges. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, it's the same thing here, except that they didn't make it a private institution. They just raised the fees. The University of Texas, when I was a graduate student in the in, in 1970s, mm -hmm. the tuition for a full year at UT was $200 for a state resident. Now it's over $20,000. And it's still a state school. Arch Manning is going there too. So the the interesting thing in this is this this uh, refund that Biden's giving only applies to 130 colleges in the in the country. Okay. 
So, so if, if your you friend went to, went to one of those other ones, he, he doesn't have to be I don't, pissed I don't off. know which ones. I don't know why it's limited to those. Maybe they're ran by uh, Democrat. I have no idea. Uh, it just somehow they threw a dart at the wall and picked 130 colleges. Wow. Wow. Brian's smiling. Uh, oh, no, I'm waiting for Tony. Tony's, Tony's got a little beard going, and he's doing like the, the wisdom thing before he starts talking now. <laughs> I want you to know I didn't give him any coffee or send no. him any coffee in the past. Listen, month. I'm not trying to get anybody mad or even trolling to the matter. I respect everybody's opinion. But, 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 Biden yeah, but, 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 but I want to make a point clear, Tony. I don't respect yeah. yours. Okay, go ahead. It's good. It's good. I like that. But, no, the thing is, if Tony is going to visit Phil, in a couple months, and Phil been brainwashing him all this oh, time. God. I, I didn't brainwash him. He came up with this shit on his own. Yeah, yeah right. He really know, did. did. He didn't brainwash. Well, let me bring up another topic here, which yeah. is. Uh, I didn't. Um, I was not aware of this, uh, but uh, and there are now suits being filed about the Supreme Court's Roe decision. Oh, about the lion? Huh? About them lying on the oath? Uh, no, no. Talk, Why don't you let me finish what oh. I'm saying, Tony? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you, I, and I didn't realize this either, but I was told this the other day, and I looked up, and it's true. Uh, do you know which religion embraces abortion? Uh, well, I don't know if they embrace it. Judaism? Yes. yes. Yeah. Not, one way or another, they, they don't really have an opinion on it. Uh, they, uh, yes, they, they do. Also yes, say, they, yes, they do. Yes, As a matter of fact, let me finish. Tony, Phil, let me finish. That's true. That's not right. me. <laughs> I got two of us now. Yeah. Jeez, let me finish. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is, I think, ever since the state of Israel has been in existence, abortion has been legal in the state of Israel. And the reason is, is that Jews believe that until a child is born, it is part of the woman, and she can do anything she wants to with it. And so this decision by the Supreme Court went against Jewish theology. Yes, it did. And there are suits being put ahead saying it goes against Jewish philosophy, and to, to, to say that this is a Christian nation and that this was okay to do is not right, because we are a nation that embraces all religions and this decision goes against our religious belief. Is, is this the Hasidim that's bringing the suit? No, or no. Regular Jews. No, regular Jews. In fact, I think one of the suits is in Florida. It could be even irregular Jews, and you would fit in, Phil. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, the Jews can think the way they want. They. Uh, they well, you talk about them like they're another bunch of people, Phil. You're Jewish yourself. Not. Yeah. Not. Not the. Not the. Uh, the anti-life Jews. Yeah. There's no Jewish such thing as an anti-life Jew. It is Jewish yeah. theology that a woman, when she is pregnant, the mm -hmm. child, until it is born, is part of the woman, and the woman has dominion over what she does with that child. Yeah, yeah. To, to what point? You know, when the child can... Oh. No, there, there's no point, Phil. The woman has the ultimate choice well, to do what she wants to do whenever I, she I wants to do it. I don't agree with it. Well, I I'm sorry, but you don't have any right to disagree with it. This was a decree from God. Yeah, I was I was <laughs> born a Jew, and I don't I don't agree with it. I'll raise you, baby Jesus. Yes, yes, uh, uh, Charlie. Oh, now now I'm now I'm li I'm lightheaded from yelling yeah. and arguing. Oh, let me give you a COVID relapse. You may have a long term one going. Yeah. Let yeah. me show you how how bullshit the Republican position on abortion is. If if the fetus is a human being with full human rights how come you can't claim them as a tax deduction until they're actually born i agree with charlie on this well i like the fact that according <laughs> to the is. according to the republicans life begins with conception and it ends with an ar-15 yeah <laughs> i don't know your state screwed down there charlie texas they gotta go depends down. on what side of the ar-15 you're on yeah yeah. Well, I, business I end. Was, it ends in, in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. The business oh. end. Yeah. Right. So anyway, you guys pick up the conversation. I'm oh. exhausted. Where are you can going? I you, can I tell you how awesome my daughter is? Oh yeah. How awesome. You, mean, awesome? you mean the pole dancer? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, what? What? What yeah, are you gonna get here? Some art. That's not very nice, Alex. What? What? She did this. She she's been drawing like nonstop. Even though she's even though she spelled it wrong, she did this. That's nice. 
And then she did this one yesterday. Oh. 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 She, she watches that Dark Man, Dark Dark Man or something like that, and they show all these things about kids being picked on in school and and all these different things, you know. And, and yeah, it's really awesome. She's she's coming along. Yeah, uh, she's a she's adorable. Yeah. I, hope, I hope you didn't mind me calling her a pole dancer. I mean, she comes, no, I'm just joking. She comes in and does her hoochie coochie, you know. I, and then she's in my other daughter's room. My daughter's playing some music, and then she's like bent over, you know, doing the twerking. I'm a no, 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 no. No, that's a no, no. You know, Brian, at at her age and at Alex's age, she's really sexy, to Alex. Uh, oh God, that. that <laughs> A prepubescent. What was it? What did that I mean? I didn't mean it that way. I just meant that. No, she, you, you know, this is why a you got to turn show. everything around, Phil. <laughs> I find I find Adrian absolutely adorable. Right. That's you know? what I mean by it. Not and, and I don't think anybody here can argue that. He's got a great personality, despite Brian. But you know, I, 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 unlike you, so you know. You know, and, she, not Brian, and she, so. I can see any any one of many careers suddenly making their appearance in her personality. One of yeah. which is being a performer. <laughs> and I'm, not, yeah. I'm not talking about Paul. Yes, Dancer, we know. But, you know, but uh, as uh, a yeah, performer, yeah. professional performer. Yeah, and oh, we right. just watched, we got her recital um, video that she was in a couple uh, last month. And you know, this is at Hammer Theater downtown San Jose, so it's a big deal. You two two level balcony and all that stuff. So, so uh, the grandparents came over uh, over the weekend, and uh, they came over and saw the video, and they were like so shocked because the video really shows how big that place is. And you see Adrian come, you know, when her area her group comes out right in the center there, and like no fear at all. So it's, it's pretty exciting to see. I mean, Ray Ray knows that. I mean, you know, it's not it's not just like just like, well, I want to be an actor, I want to be a performer. It's like, see, when you're that young and you go out on a big stage and, and they have, like, no fear, I mean, that's like, you know, it's like, geez, you don't have to teach that or say, oh, don't worry, honey, everything's going to be okay, you know? Right, Ray? It's, it's different than... Well, it, when, she starts there, young, right? well, when she starts young like that, uh, it make it a lot easier for her going forward if that's what she wants to do. Because yeah. it'll be, the, it'll be in her muscle memory in her mind, you know? Ray, what's the biggest yeah. venue you ever played? Uh, uh, San Jose Center for Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. It's like 2,500 seats, I think. It's wow. pretty good size. Now ask me. Uh, are, are you uh, 10,000, right? Ross Amphitheater, 9,000. I actually was 11,000. 11,000. Yeah. But we're, are, we're only counting people that were in the seats, right? There Those are no eight. seats. Hey, there are no seats at Frost Amphitheater. You sit on oh, the lawn. I don't know. I've never been there. It was funny. Look at the, St the Stanford one. We use my friend who's in a wheelchair to skip the line. Stanford, there's a huge line going through, and they hadn't opened yet. So me and my friends roll in like five minutes before the front gates open, and we roll up with my friend in the wheelchair, you, you, and you they should... said, oh, come right up. And we went right up, and then they want to check his bag in the back. And we said, oh, don't check his bag. That's all his piss stuff, you know? Huh. And but, but we had some we had some alcoholic beverages in the bag. <laughs> so they don't check that. They let us go right through. We got Dead Rose Center up near the front. And then uh, we had our own entertainment with beverages. Brian, Brian is probably the only Californian that has a McLaren with a handicap placard on it. <laughs> no. I, uh, I uh, at that show, I... Um... Had everybody, you remember I had everybody give the finger to the camera? Mm -hmm. I had 11,000 11, people mm -hmm. giving the finger to the camera. And uh -huh. then I had that blown up into a giant poster size thing, right? And gave it to Penn and Teller. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. And because we were trying to find different ways of saying fuck you to each other. And they gave me a neon sign that said fuck you, Alex, which I still have in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and I gave him this poster of eleven thousand people giving them the finger. So mm -hmm. that's uh, great. Yeah. So it was, it was that was fun. But uh, what was the show, Alex? What was, was it? our was our cavalcade of comedy? I mean, we had I think Alan oh. G Generous was on it. And I can't remember all the comedians who were on it, but it was I also a variety it. show too. We had variety acts as well. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have, you have that now, a variety act here. 
Oh, yeah. This is, <laughs> the circus. This, yeah, is, yeah, this is big time show business, isn't it? So, yeah, Ray, Ray yeah. would you suggest that Tiffany get pictures made and start do, uh, trying out for... Tiffany, for, Tiffany's uh, uh, your I wife, mean, isn't it, Brian? Uh, Adrian, Adrian, uh, get uh, pictures made and maybe try to do some commercials or something because she's so... You know, if she wants to, she just needs to get a headshot and then go get an agent. I would say I would, I would is, not push any kid into that. It's just that, that she age. wants to do it because yeah. uh, I would I would let I, her do. I have it. a son who was who was real who they wanted to be in every commercial almost that we auditioned for, and he absolutely hated it. Yeah. And and we did. I did a Subaru commercial with him, and I did a couple other ones, and. Um, and then he just it was torture for him so yeah if they want to do it yeah but you got it has to come from them well also yeah. i don't believe that they should do it that early in life i think that uh yeah. they should have a normal childhood but if they want to be in plays and in theater groups and things like that sure but i yeah. wouldn't send them out for any auditions to uh, I, the commercial stuff i would wait just the plays the musicals and all that stuff yeah but yeah i agree with you, alex i mean Unless she I, I really would, really I, wants I, to I would it. foster it in her early if she if she feels she wants to do dancing then she should have be involved in dance recitals and dance shows and theater things and so on and maybe if uh, she likes acting little theater stuff like that you know that's what i did when i was younger but i i don't know to make a kid go into commercials that early is kind of well the other problem is there's hardly any commercial work up up in the bay area anymore so yeah uh you'll find yourself going to la all the time and driving her down there and you're not going to want to do that anyway my my sister at the age of nine was uh doing commercials but she was in new york and there's uh, a cheap way to get headshots get arrested (laughs) (laughs) i'll ask paul pelosi did she get arrested what is Paul? He Pulse? got arrested for DUI, and oh, they got big his deal a DUI. Side. Big deal a DUI. You know, if, if anybody hurt. else had gotten a DUI, you'd never even know it. Okay, no, no. you know, but no, because it's Nancy Pelosi's husband, and and she has no no hold over his abilities as a driver. You know, she grabbed the wheel like Trump supposedly. Yeah, <laughs> grabbed his arm. Try to go to the Congress. Yeah. So anyway, the capital. Ah, Why does he hate ketchup so much? What? Yeah. What? Okay. What? Some oh. of the transcripts are pretty funny about throwing throwing food and baby tantrums and stuff. Well, she said she Where? saw him throw the food. Mm-hmm. She said, "Well, not not that she saw him throw the food. She came into the uh, into a room he was in, and there was ketchup on the wall and a bun on the floor." <laughs> So what does that Irv, say? Jack uh, Irv sent me this. Oh yeah, he, 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 a ketchup he, he, yeah. bottle, and it's uh, in ketchup. It says lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you didn't get you didn't get the second part of it. It said Trump. In the second. Trump, part. Oh no no! It only just said lock him up. Oh, hmm. I got the second part. He didn't well, he want to send, he didn't want send it to you. Uh, he likes you better. Was Liz yeah. Cheney, is that Dick is that Dick Cheney's daughter? Yes. Yeah. I would love to ask her about the WMDs. Remember the God, fall? You, you are so fall? quick, Tony. What do you think she knows about the WMDs? Well, anybody should be well, on they talk at night. Well he didn't he lead us into false wall chain, Dick Cheney? I remember that. Dick Cheney? Uh, he, he shot you know, his the friend. vice president doesn't start wars. The president does. Well, he was kind he of almost did. He sh- shot, shot his buddy thing. with a shotgun. I well, that. but it was a lawyer, so it was okay. Uh, th- that's a man who's lived longer than he should have. Oh, absolutely. Hey, yeah. Didn't, didn't I mean, he get a heart or a pacemaker or something? Oh, he's yeah, got it, heart. He's, he's like he's heart. like RoboCop. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, he's he. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing genuine about him. <laughs> He His heart doesn't hurt. even beat. He doesn't have a heartbeat, does he? No. He has a continuous flow of blood with this mechanical heart. It doesn't right. beat. Cool. Does <laughs> Jeff have one really? of those? Yes, really. Now yeah. you're giving Jeff ideas. Now I need a new one. <laughs> yeah, really. Sounds good. 
It'll live forever for that. Yeah, and Tony, why should uh, Dick Cheney be able to have an artificial heart where, kind of where, 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 where Jeff it. has to pay for one? Huh? Yeah. What's up with that? No, that, that was kind of, I just find it ironic that she's the one sitting there leading the uh, table over There's there. nothing ironic like, about it. She, that's the part, one sensible thing she's done in her life. Yeah, and as, soon, and as soon as they're done with her, they're going to throw her out like yesterday's garbage. You know what I mean? I don't know if she's going to lose so fast because she's really like, showing like a lot of... With Trump? It, he, I'm she, talking she, about the Democrats. Wait a they love her right now. I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the worst thing that's ever happened to the Re Republicans. Roe versus Wade being done away with because you're going to see such a... People running to the... Uh, uh, the Democrats. Ballot box. Oh, you, they're going to be voting like crazy. They consider that Roe versus Wade is on the ballot. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's too late now. What do you mean it's too late now? Uh, well, it's already the law of the land. Now. It's gone uh, back to the well, state. No, but the, but the, but the, <laughs> but the <laughs> Senate and the Congress can pass a law making it legal nat nationwide. Yes. It just wouldn't be a con it wouldn't be constitutionally protected. But it would be protected by a law from the Congress of the United States. So then and it would the get Republicans overthrown. Are not no, it wouldn't to get it. overthrown because uh, because it was passed by the Congress. Right. Mm. Yeah, but the Congress can make a law that the Supreme Court says is not constitutional. No, they passed on the uh, they passed on the law itself that they they considered it to be legal. Okay. They didn't say by throwing Roe versus Wade back to the states that it was illegal because every any state that wants to can have abortion. We ha yeah. we're going to still have abortion here in New York. You're going to still have abortion in California. They we're didn't in a representative out they, republic. They didn't and it's outlaw. To go back. They didn't outlaw. No, they no. didn't. And since we're in a representative republic, that the states have the have the right to decide. Uh, you know, well, they, not they necessarily. Can, can can the states can the states bring back slavery individually? No, I don't think so. Well, they they have. No, they, call they it the can't. Carpet business. <laughs> Actually, it may not be that cut and dry that they can't bring back slavery. Yeah. Listen, if anybody's going to try it, it'll be Texas. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know. Really. You must be very frustrated living in that state. Yeah. Yeah. Although Beto keeps getting closer and closer, I mean, by November he may overtake Abbott. He may Public fall off the table. Out. Hey, uh, how come ink costs fifty bucks for three hundred pages? Because this is an outrage. It's not me. Well, well, I'll tell you what the outrage is. The outrage is HP. Yeah, which when HP. I bought my new HP machine for three hundred dollars. Wait, let me finish. Ooh. For 300 bucks, it's an e version or something. And I bought it. And I did, do you want to sign up for, you know, HP Plus, where a whole bunch of little bonus things and so on? Mm -hmm. And I said, sure. Well, I shouldn't have done it. Because by doing that, you can't use the third party inks. Look what's happening. Look. Mm. Has she got a white streak in her hair? Like Tulsi Gabbard. Wait a minute, who put that there? <laughs> did, did Mom do that, or is is that is she literally she got she got a, a blonde streak put in there? Wow. Yeah, it, it was blue before, but we've been going swimming like every day since. Uh, and the chlorine turns it white. Since I have to stay home and the chlorine, yeah, this yeah. is a shampooing yeah. one. So. Yeah. This is, by the way, in case you just tuned in, this is uh, Adrian, which is Brian's ventriloquist dummy uh, and, oh that's cold uh, <laughs> oh man i made so a boo boo dumb. now alex makes a boo boo you show us? <clears throat> that's very nice by the way adrian yeah this one what about this one love yourself right love yourself. yeah yeah oh, oh, oh. okay Please. what are you gonna do we going hot tubbing later yeah okay and pool and pool no we're not going to pool pool's cold right now go Okay. Does anybody need a HP ink that can use oh, a 950? I have a bunch of it, and I got rid of the printer, and I got a new printer. Of course, it uses a different. I'll tell you the printer. The printer to get is what? What is the one where you pour the ink in it? Uh, it's the oh the Epson, Epson uh, something or other. Yeah, it's, it's a tank printer, but you know that isn't rated that high. Well, no, it is rated very well. 
Kevin's got uh, every one. rating I've seen on has been excellent. Has been excellent because you're not forced to use their ink. Yeah. Ke Kevin uh, has one and he loves it. You know, okay. I bought. Well, I, I bought. Person. I have that's sitting good. over here. It's about ready to be used. The full complement of HP ink for this goddamn thing, and it cost me uh, uh, what ninety nine bucks or something like that. And I'm Definitely. going, and everybody else is selling theirs. If you didn't do the HP plus, but once you do that, you're locked in to buy I their did the ink. HP plus with the new printer af after I heard your story. Yeah. At least I at least I did it eyes wide open. Oh, okay, but you still you're stuck with using their ink. Yeah, you bet. See? My my there, they, they photo should, they should be a legal action against HP. There really should. That that is uh, uh, restraint of trade. Alex Bennett That's slavery. HP. No, it's, it's slavery. restraint of trade. It doesn't allow me to make the choice of what ink to put in there. You know. Yeah. So they, they they let you free on that. What about all the people before you who had to pay that? Tony says that's not that's not fair. So you have to suffer just like anybody else who signed up for that program, because other people they suffer too. This is close. Brian's picking on Tony. You get three hundred pages for this. Three hundred pages. Oh, 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 I get I get more. Not than even that. a ream. I get more than that. But. Well, no, the, this this particular one. The which is that? Why are you uh, printing so much flyers? And if you yeah. and if you get their their thing where you Black where you subscribe to their plan, where they will constantly replenish your ink, yeah, you know it's like if, if for for what the amount of pages I did a month, they told me it would cost me eleven dollars a month. Really? Okay, all right. Well, that's not bad actually. What? That's uh, that's ridiculous. What about a laser jet? Laser is pretty good. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, they do the same thing with their laser jet HP. They, they, they just really ream you. Do not get an HP. Okay. No, I have an Epson. I never get HP anymore. Yeah, and Epson has the uh, the disposable ink. I mean, the ink that you pour in, and uh, you can use anybody's ink if you want to. They they don't force you to use theirs. And that's what's terrible about HP. You know. My photo printer takes 10 cartridges, and uh, I just got a new one, the Epson 900. And what happens is it comes with cartridges, but it's only enough to really set the thing up and do a few prints. And then the 10 cartridges, which hold less than my old cartridges, only 50 milliliters, I think, uh, are $500 for the 10 cartridges. Oh, God. And, wow. and he only paid fourteen dollars for the printer. No, actually, the printer. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, just, just to be just to be on the uh, real argumentative side, anybody tried to buy razor blades lately? No. I yeah, know. yeah, the, the the Gillette ones with the five. Uh, Who cares? They're expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark, that's gone up now. Mark, really? Mark five hundred. Forty Costco. Forty dollars or something like that for just forty fifty bucks. Costco. Yeah, forty fifty. You know bucks. what they wanted for corned beef hash? Libby's five dollars is key food. I, I know what they wanted because you got it on my message. Well, to begin with, if you're going, if Libby's you're if you're going to eat hash. if you're going to eat Libby's horned beef hash hash, uh, you, you deserve, deserve whatever you have to pay for. You're right. You <laughs> know, <laughs> you know those expensive razors. I make them last four months before I shave them. I, I only shave once a week. So they yeah. go forever with me. Yeah. But you know, yeah, I use a Norelco Phillips Norelco electric shaver. Yeah, me too. That, that's not my Good shaver. Good enough for me. I didn't get. That's not my shaver. I I use a Remington. We're not talking about on your balls, Phil. We're talking Phillips. about Phillips. <laughs> Phillips, uh, you know. No, but well, I, is Remington better for the balls than the face? Uh, You'd have to ask Phil. I I don't know. Uh, hey, Phil. I won, yeah. I won a uh, I won the Peninsula Photo Contest in the travel category. Hey, that's Congratulations. great! Congratulations! Oh, yeah. uh, in a club or? Uh... No, the Peninsula Photo Contest uh, used to be by the Palo Alto Weekly, but ah. now it's like. Yeah. Oh, how how did you? What did you do? Did you enter a photo and people voted yeah. on it or? Yeah, yeah, they had like a a panel, you know. He did what you did. He made sure there were nothing but old people in it, and then he beat up on. Them. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, you know, people in Palo Alto, uh, there's a lot of photographers down there. Posted they had like Facebook. 700 Phil, entries. Phil wins okay, his oh, Phil, congratulations. Phil wins, congratulations. His, photo, yeah, Phil wins his photo competition every every couple of weeks when he goes to it. Uh, but basically, it's for the heart of seeing. Now that they've moved my class up, uh, some of these guys are phenomenal. They go all around the world uh, doing nature photography and landscape. And The and, name of your club is the Wheelchair Photo Society or something like that? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, part, of, it's, it's part of a group of clubs in the uh, Bay Area. And uh, if you look up n4c.org, the picture behind me uh, of, of uh, oh, that's one of my shots. Yeah, that okay. came out really good. I don't know if you, how well you can see it, but I got more of them. He's got some really good pictures, and I, I took them underwater. One awards, yeah. Kodak and, and I, and I took them underwater. Camera. Yeah. <laughs> But hey, congratulations, Ray. You're a oh, great thanks. photographer. I really uh, enjoy you. your work. Oh, oh, thank you, Phil. So are you. Thanks. Yeah, he wow. keeps he keeps sending, entering photos he took like ten years ago. <laughs> no, 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 I go out. I find <laughs> pictures. I, I went to Monterey last weekend taking pictures of whales. You know, just to uh, have stuff to enter. Phil, uh, Phil, Phil, whales don't exist anymore. Like Whales don't exist. What are you still watching? You only got a picture of the tail. I thought. What I oh, loved you about know, that, you know what I loved about that Star Trek picture? Here yeah, you could that? come back from the future to save two goddamn whales, where you could have gone that? back a few oh, more Lord. years and saved six million Jews. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they're gonna they're gonna save two goddamn whales. <laughs> I think, you know, they, and they thought they were a male and female. Well, no, the attitude was, Jews what, we're going to bring a bunch of Jews back to the future? Forget that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> they're anti-choice, they're anti pro-choice. Uh, yeah. Uh, was have you watched that show? On... Uh, Jewish? Sorry. What did you, uh, what what you say, what did you say, Ray? Oh, oh you say, has, has anyone watched that show, The Offer, on Paramount Plus? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah I really right. enjoy it. It's great. Hmm. I saw the what whole thing. About? I, I won't tell you how it ends. <laughs> okay, okay, but tell us what it's, it's about. It, it's 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 a drama based on the making of the Godfather movies. Oh, and yeah. all pretty accurate too. Yeah, it's all really accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun it if you're really into the Godfather. It's called the Offer. Okay. Well, I mean, it was a real it was a real problem for them because yeah. they were trying to make this movie in New York about about the mafia. Uh, by, about a book by a book ma that was written, which the mob, mob just absolutely hated. Yeah. Uh, and so they had to make it and keep the mob happy. Okay. Well, they use some of the mobsters in in uh, in the Godfather in the first part. The, the only uh, only one guy, I think. Yeah, the the uh, the guy that got choked <laughs> out, got his hand stabbed. Oh, before you play the thing, uh, did you hear G Giselle Maxwell? Uh, yeah, just got lame. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. For voting for Trump? Wow, that's uh, kind of awesome. uh, for arranging. That for means she can get out in about 10. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And R. Kelly got 30. Oh yeah. 30 years. Wow. Today? Yeah. Yeah. Child molester. Right? Hopefully, they hopefully they Why won't show up. Hopefully they won't. Why did they nail him to the wall? Well, well hopefully yeah. they won't show up in the same prison together because she's she's too old for him. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it, everybody. Boy, right. I'm a little woozy and tired. You made it. I made it. Yeah. I mean, I, I do this because it's it's exercise, I guess. Yeah, we but, love it. But you know, I feel better. We appreciate oh, well, you hopefully, doing I'll it. feel better every day that passes. Yeah. But anyway, everybody, yeah. uh, you know, I want to thank Phil, and I want to thank Alan, and I want to thank Brian, and I want to thank the other Brian, Bathtub Brian, who we lost there. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Thank you, Jeff Stein. Thank you to Tony, even though he's turned into a moron. <laughs> Not that he wasn't a moron <laughs> before. And uh, Ray. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Give a, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye. Wait a minute, uh, at you. I couldn't figure out where the music was. There we go. Give a big wave goodbye. There we go. Wait a minute, let me. Uh, there I had to turn that. There we go. 
Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, I, I'm uh, getting out of here. Oh, boy, I'm woozy. Uh, we'll see you again. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. He'll be here taking your calls on uh, Skype at GabNet Live. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station of life. Yes, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a good night.